Use the setup hard key to access the setup window. Split into four sections, the setup window is where major, console wide, options and defaults can be changed. In chapter 3, we looked at full access and live access windows, which handle adding and patching of devices. Auto create is the next step. As the name suggests, it enables you to automatically create groups, presets, effects, and a matrix for your devices. In auto create, you can specify the devices for which you wish to create presets and whether those presets will be merged with existing presets or whether they will be added as new presets. Preset referencing is a tool that allows you to take existing preset information from a single fixture and embed it into a fixture's personality. The next use of this kind of fixture in conjunction with AutoCreate will use the preset information from this show as a template to generate presets. The Groups AutoCreate window offers two options for group generation, to create groups by the device type or by the layer defined in the fixture schedule. You can also choose whether to create groups for each individual device or for all, odds and evens of each type of device. Clone allows you to transform preset and queue information to other fixtures, or even fixtures of different types. If you add extra fixtures to your show, you can then use the clone feature to add them into every preset and queue that an existing fixture is already in. This allows you to dramatically expand the size of your show without having to program the new fixtures from the start. This feature is particularly useful if you have programmed with presets. Effects and matrix allow to create default effects and selections. A lot of the options in the setup window are very straightforward. Message boxes on one screen or all refers to pop-up windows such as store and whether they should appear on all of your displays or just on the right hand touch screen on a Gran MA full size or the touch screen for the rest of the range. The normal or wide executor mode option is a bit more complicated. It refers to how a show programmed on a full size Gran MA with 20 executor faders transfers to a console with only 10 faders. Chapter 10 gives more detailed information under laying out your console. A touch screen calibration can be done by simply selecting the display to calibrate and pressing the four crosses on the selected display. If a recalibration does not solve your problems with the touch screen option, it can be turned off. You can also turn off external displays so that the mouse cursor does not get lost in an unavailable display. The console beep can be turned off in case of a noisy sensitive environment. The encoder soft key allows you to choose the resolution and the speed of the parameter encoders. With the fader soft key, motorized faders can be changed to manual faders or disabled completely. The setting for the wheel soft key determines what happens to dimmer values under the wheel's control when they reach 100 or 0%. With additive, reaching 100% or 0% causes the relationship between dimmer values to collapse when the direction is reversed. With incremental, the relationship is maintained. With proportional plus, the dimmer levels all reach 0% at the same time. With proportional minus, the dimmer levels all reach 100% at the same time. The light section gives access to the backlight dimming of the touchscreen displays and the illumination level of the little lights. In defaults, you can change many of the basic settings that your console uses. It is worth it while visiting and revisiting the window during programming to reduce the amount of time you spend making repetitive changes. 
Even if most of the defaults are self-explanatory, here is a quick overview. Basic fade is the default time that your cues will be stored with. Basic outfade is the time given to dimmer values going down in a stored queue. You may enter a number or opt to make it the same time as the infade time. Snap delay is the time that elapses after Go has been pressed before snap parameters, Go will wheels, color wheels, etc. change. Trigger, Go, Follow, Sound or a specific length of time can be all used as triggers for a queue. Dual value or single value entry allows you to choose whether you type 5, 0 or 5 for the value 50. Add, add is a command to quickly set a fixture or channel to a predetermined level. The add level soft key allows you to set that level. The program fade is the time that executors turn off when using the off command. Go to and go to minus is the time that go to and go minus take place in. MIB delay is the time between the dimmer level reaching 0% and the changing parameters starting the MIB. This can also be set on per fixture type basis in the fixture's personality. MIB fade is the time it takes for parameters changing as part of the MIB to take that change. Default is chaser, default is queue list, allows to choose what will be created automatically when store is pressed in combination with an executor hard key. Chase speed is the default chase speed for all newly created chasers. Chase fade is a percentage of time that parameters spend changing between the steps of a chase. Readout allows to choose between displaying BPM, Hertz or seconds for the speed of a chaser. Crossfade permanent and crossfade reload refer to how the manual crossfader behaves. With crossfade permanent, whenever the fader reaches the end of its travel, whether it is at the bottom or top, a new queue will be loaded into the fader, ready for manual execution. With crossfade reload, the next queue will only be loaded into the fader when it reaches the bottom of its travel. The sheet sorting section refers to the option the fixture sheet window, the channel sheet window, and the fader sheet window used to sort their contents. Sheet font size allows separate font size definition for the internal touchscreen displays and the external displays. Sheet readout defines whether values will be displayed as decimal values, percentage values, percentage plus values or hexadecimal values. For more explanation on viewing data, check basic concepts for newcomers. The blackout soft key determines how the blackout hard key above the grandmaster behaves. Push will execute a blackout only as long as the hard key is pressed. Toggle will execute a blackout as soon as it is pressed and will require the second press of the hard key to return to normal operation. The last option is to disable the blackout hard key. Master Enabled Disabled allows you to disable or enable the Grand Master Fader. Keyboard allows you to define the language of the text keyboard that is attached to the console. Keyboard zero dot, dot zero allows you to change the layout of the zero hard key and the dot hard key on the numeric keypad. Preset Colors allows you to change the color scheme of the preset windows. The trackball option soft key is the only of interest to users of the full size Grand MA. It defines how the trackball hard key changes the function of the trackball. Returning to the setup window, time and date allows the setting of the internal clock and calendar. Additional information as daylight savings time and the console's location using longitude and latitude enable the console to predict sunrise and sunset. These options are only of interest if used for triggering cues by time of day. Display Languages switches between the implemented languages. Note that changing the console's language will cause it to reboot. Oops is the console's 20-step undo command. It is accessed by pressing the Oops hard key. This option is not available on the GrandMA Micro. The Oops settings define exactly what the Oops will do. Oops can be set to undo general commands such as store or to undo changes in your views. Also it can be used to undo actions made while programming the console. Because of having a limited number of steps Oops can be used for, those options have to be chosen carefully. For example, being able to return a fixture to a previous position after you have accidentally moved it might be nice, but being able to undo a wrongly stored queue may be much more important. 
Only having the general option on will protect you from one major mistake while programmer option will protect you from smaller, but less serious mistakes. If you are using the console in an environment with a lot of low frequency vibrations at high volume, it is very important that you switch off all the OOPS options. This prevents the console from accessing the hard drive during a show. Low frequency vibrations at high volumes can interfere with the normal functioning of a hard drive and may cause your console to temporarily stop responding. The screensaver soft key allows you to determine how long it takes from the built-in Granime screensaver to activate. The update software option allows to update the console's operating software via floppy disk or from another Granime console. 